8,136 cattle were consigned to Roma's Tuesday store sale, with some impressive runs of steers, heifers and cows and calves available. Competition was driven mostly by restockers this week, with an increase in prices evident. Some fresh faces also filled the lanes on Tuesday, with active buyers coming from northwestern New South Wales and southwest Queensland, as well as all the usual restocker buyers. The trend would have been uh, extra buyers from the south, but a better trend overall for probably most descriptions other than the heavy feeders. But certainly the steer, younger steers was, was much better. Calves back cracking 400 cents again. And uh, the heifer trend is also probably 20, up to 20 cents dearer in some of the better lighter calves. But again, the trend is better all the way. Recent rainfall around the state and further into New South Wales meant some restockers were setting themselves up for the winter months, taking advantage of the large numbers of cattle drawn from all over Queensland. A bit more confidence, only weather-wise more than anything. It's... it's uh, Talking to people in the south, there was anywhere from 30 to 80 mils in a lot of that country over the last 24 hours. That's given them a little bit more confidence. Their season is better than it is here. You know, we need extensive rain here if we're really to get out of trouble. So we want their competition. Send as many as you can. Demand was there for lighter weight steers and heifers this week, with wiener steers under 220 kilos topping at 428 cents per kilo, averaging 387. Wiener steers in the 220 to 280 kilo weight range reach 402 cents per kilo, averaging 358. And steers in the 280 to 350 kilo weight range reach 382 cents per kilo, averaging 341 cents per kilo. Heifers under 220 kilos topped at 364 cents per kilo, averaging 331. Heifers in the 220 to 280 kilo weight range topped at 370 cents per kilo, averaging 313. And heifers in the 280 to 350 kilo weight range topped at 344 cents per kilo, averaging 299 cents per kilo. We had a couple of good runs of cattle that sold very well. We had some calves of the white families that made nearly $4. We had some some bigger steers and the, well medium weight steers in the 340s to 360s and 70s, so that was good. And little heifers making 20 plus, so that's certainly a better trend than what it's been. The Roma store sale even gained the attention of a Japanese university student, Shizuru Suzuki, who was in Australia learning the ropes of Wagyu beef genetics and breeding from Sonia Hornery, owner of Heartland Australasia and Australian Wagyu beef. Shizuru has been increasing her knowledge of Japanese Wagyu genetics use in the Australian Wagyu market. No Wagyus for sale on Tuesday, but Shizuru was thrilled to be there. I love this because uh, I love cat all of cattle, so I just I'm happy with the uh, with cattle, <laughs> and also huge. And, uh, I can see so many kinds of cattle. It's just amazing that. This huge uh, like scale, the yard sale. Because uh, in Japan, it, um, we have a um, sale, uh, but it's not this big. And um, uh, here, so you sell as a each pen. Yeah, it, that's interesting. And, uh, for a more comprehensive look into this week's market reports or for more information on the Roma sale yards, head to www.mymaranoa.org.au forward slash business.